So for the past week or so, I've been re-uploading videos from my other channel to try and figure out why aren't they getting pushed, at least from my other channel. And what the results show very much irritates me. So it turns out the re-uploads not only get suggested, they pump out more impressions compared to the original video. Well, if you look at the analytics for my other channel, none of the videos get suggested or they barely get recommended. And I'll just give you a brief lore for the YouTube analytics. Suggested videos are like the ones that are in the up next session, session, section. <laughs> in browse features is the ones that pop up when you log on to YouTube and it's just the home page. At least I think those are it. <laughs> I could be completely wrong. So what it basically means is if you go to my other channel and you click on a video, it will never suggest any of the other videos from that channel. Whereas if you do it on the channel you're watching this on now, it may suggest at least one or two of the other videos. And you might be thinking, oh, maybe it's because the subscriber count is bigger, so it's getting pushed out more. Well, for starters, before the re-uploads, this was mostly about shorts, and more specifically, anime shorts, or at least One Piece shorts, as I went on my journey to watching everything One Piece. So it would seem weird that it would suggest videos like Poppy's Playtime, a funny montage. And granted, it does show around 25-50% who are subscribed to watch the videos, which I thank you dearly. If you're someone who watches both the shorts and the videos, you are a trooper. <laughs> but it would seem weird how it would push out a re-upload of a video that isn't even a short to like other people. You might also be thinking, oh, if you look on the other channel, you'll see I've done interesting videos about porn. Yes, that is true. I did some wacky shenanigans <laughs> skits with those. But here's another thing. If you look up porn on YouTube, it gets hundreds of thousands of views. And there are some YouTube shorts where it's just a girl trying to flash you in some way or show off her herself in a bikini. A hundred thousands, millions of views. And realistically, it's the only thing that's keeping the channel alive. And of course, having your video suggested isn't the only way to get impressions or at least improve your view count when it comes to videos. I mean, one of my latest videos on here was just like a two minute review about Madame Web. And it got most of its impressions through browse features. But then it has 12,000 impressions and... <laughs> That still shocks me. So it's not just about being suggested that improves your impressions. So why isn't it giving impressions for my other channel? And I think most of the time it counts it as a browse feature impression. It's from when I log in with this channel and it will show one of my videos because I would always watch them. And I'm sure I'm not the only one dealing with this. I mean, one of the worst creations we have on YouTube is those stupid green screen kids who just take the content and then somehow get more views off of it than the original creator of the video. Or a little side rant I'm about to go on, just those annoying TikTok pranksters that just crash into stuff in Walmart, then they get tons and tons of likes and views when they're just being the most arrogant asshole known to mankind. And now you're wondering, well, it's not a big difference in views, so why rant about it? Because to me, it's a big difference. These numbers may seem laughable to people like Mr. Bees who can just sneeze off of these numbers, but not to me. 100 people just watching me play a very low frames per second poppy playtime and slightly terrified of a chase scene got at least 100 people to watch. 400 people saw me do a review of Madame Web, and if you look at the video, it just looks like a very old game theory video where it just like slapped on random edits or like slapped on random pics and gifs. But to me, 400 is so much. 12,000 impressions is so much. Some people can get that in seconds, but not to me. I'm like, wow, 12,000 people at least saw the thumbnail. And that's why I'm so aggravated about this, because why did a re-upload get more than the original? And of course, this kind of makes me sound like I'm just being like, oh, pity me, uh, boo-hoo, give me views. <laughs> I just want them to go out to people because I had a fun time making them. In fact, I have more fun making those long-term, long-form videos than I do making my shorts. Alright, who's giving the blowjobs now? I got a 60% chance it's not gonna be. The beginning of it is just them with Luffy eating food. And because I had such a good time making the video, I want to show it to as many people as I can. Hoping that they can laugh on it. Because we live in such a time where everyone is very depressed. 
They don't feel motivated to do anything, and so I want to spark them joy. If I can make at least one person laugh on my videos, that isn't just me laughing at them, then I feel like I accomplished something that day. We're living in a time where all the YouTubers we used to grow up with are now leaving, and I want to fill in that space. I mean, it would be pretty cool if I became the next PewDiePie, <laughs> but sadly, I'm not like him. We're completely different people. I mean, I do like pasta. Maybe I can be the Italian version of him. <laughs> Like, I love making my long form content. It kind of shows more of me than the shorts do. And so I want them to be pushed out to as many people as possible so then I can make more and more people enjoy their day, lift up someone's spirits. That is why I want to be big on YouTube. And there's always that quote going around, or at least that one time where PewDiePie said, at least I think he said, where like it gets lonely at the top. And so what if I get up to the top? Then he'll have a friend up there with him. Granted, Mr. Beast is up there, but... This is kind of more of a business. And who knows, maybe he needs a friend up there with him. You might also be thinking, oh, just combine the two. Well, I want one to just be about regular videos, another one just to be clips and shorts. But the results are kind of saying otherwise now. And of course, I can always be in the wrong here. Maybe someone can, like, come to my aid and be like, oh, you're just doing something wrong on the other channel and, I, and you're being stupid. I mean, I can always be wrong about it. Or I am wrong about it. Or maybe you can someone just be like, eh, maybe you should do this differently. I'm always up for recommendations. If I can make a website, I'll do what PewDiePie did and just have like a list of like where people can comment games about what they recommend to me. That would be fun too. But yeah, that's the reason why there are so many up re-uploads recently. And the results are kind of infuriating. But I hope you enjoy this little conversation we had.